Today we're going to look at a few different amp sims for metal guitars that are 100% free. It's free. What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Taylor, and I do all sorts of guitar related stuff like this on my channel. If that's something you enjoy, make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my uploads. I get asked this question a lot, so I thought I would make a video dedicated to looking at some different amp sims that are completely free. Now the application that we're gonna be using these amp sims on is on a metal guitar. So if you're new here and you can't tell by this, that I'm a metal guitar player, I am in fact a metal guitar player, and that's primarily what I focus on on my channel is metal guitar productions. So, now you know. I'm gonna be looking at a few different things with each plugin. I'm gonna be looking at its ease of use. I'm gonna be looking at its ability to be used monitoring guitars so you can record your DIs with it because for me, that's like 90% of what I use plugins on the computer for is just monitoring myself and recording myself. And then last and probably the most important to the majority of you guys is how does it sound? So the way that we're gonna compare these plugins is I'm gonna just throw them on a DI and I'll show you what it sounds like in a mix as well as what it sounds like soloed. And then at the end of the video, we'll put them all side by side and chop them up so you can get like a really direct AB comparison. The first group of plugins that I'm gonna look at do not have cab simulation built in, so you're gonna need a third-party cab IR loader. Personally, I use Lancaster Pulse. It's a free IR plugin. It's really easy to use. You just grab your IR files, throw them in there, and you're good to go. It also lets you control the high and low cuts, which is a really nice feature for making your guitars sit in the mix better and just helping to shave off some of that top end that you typically get with digital modeling. Okay, now that we have that established, let's look at some of these plugins. The first free plugins that I looked at are the Lapu plugins, which have been around for a long time. And when I got to the website to check them out, this happened. So yeah, unfortunately, I can't include the Lapu stuff on this list. I know that they've been around for a long time and they really have a big following in like the bedroom producers community. But I mean, the website's down, like what am I gonna do? I can't download them. But hopefully they'll get those problems worked out and get the website back up because I know a lot of people really, really enjoy these plugins. Up next is the Nalix Ninja. This plugin's had a lot of hype recently, especially in like the underground metal bedroom producer community. And for good reason, it's an excellent sounding plugin. Now the main drawbacks of this plugin are, it's a little bit tricky to dial in, and in my experience, definitely benefits from a master volume boost. That just helps it really fill in in the low end and makes it sound a little bit thicker. The next plugin that I checked out is the STL Tones Ignite Emissary. Now for the last two years that I've had my YouTube channel, I get people singing this amp's praises all the time. And I have to agree with most of you, I think this plugin sounds really, really good. I really like how easy this plugin is to use, and I also really like how quickly you can dial in a good tone with it. I mean, for the most part, when I'm dialing in guitar tones, I don't like to spend a lot of time dialing tones in. And it's just really easy to get a good tone in a couple minutes with it. It doesn't take much. Now, some of the drawbacks are, it doesn't have a huge amount of tonal variety, even though it's a two-channel amp, and it's really geared for a very specific type of metal, which is like modern produced metal. But it does that really, really well, and if you just want like a good, solid, punishing metal tone, this is a really good plug-in for you.
the next plugin we're gonna check out is Bias Amp 2. Now this plugin keeps coming up and I really wasn't aware there was a free version of it until I had people commenting that I should try the free version. So I went on the website and downloaded the free version and uh, here's what happened. Unfortunately, unless you pay for it, it's in demo mode and every couple of minutes, your sound just goes to shit, which is really unfortunate because I really like this plugin. I think it sounds really good. It has a standalone mode, so you don't have to use it inside your DAW. I mean, there's a lot of really cool things about it. The customization is insane. You can customize all sorts of different parameters of your amp, but that fucking demo mode, holy cats. I mean, to me, that just makes it unusable because there's no way I could sit down and track a song with that happening every couple minutes. Okay, moving on, we have the Kyusa. I don't know how to say this, so I'm just gonna put it on the screen here. This plugin does have internal cabinet simulation, but you can turn it off and load a third-party plugin if you want to. It's super simple to use, and I found myself getting a pretty good tone relatively quickly. The only major drawback that I saw with this plugin is there's no standalone mode. So if you want to use it to monitor your guitars while you're recording, that's something that you have to do inside your DAW. And I always find that there's just a little bit more latency when you have to do it that way. Okay, last on my list of free metal guitar plugins, the Amp Roots. I mean, number one, it sounds amazing when you load it up. And although it's definitely a one trick pony, it's really, really easy to work with and dial in. It comes with its own cabinet simulation built in. So if you don't have any IRs, it's not something you have to worry about. It also comes with a built in noise gate and tube screamer, which is awesome, especially if you're playing metal. And my favorite thing about the plugin is it has a standalone mode. So you can open it up and just start recording your DIs. As a matter of fact, the majority of tracks that you hear on this channel were reamp DIs that I recorded with the Amp Roots plugin. And I also like that it's not resource intensive and that when I open it up, it just opens up right away. I mean, the less things that I have to deal with when I wanna plug in my guitar and record an idea that I have, the better. You know, when you have an idea in your head and it's something that you wanna record and get down, all these things are just things that get in the way of you and your idea. So, you know, if you have a plugin that you have to mess with or you have to go through and listen and maybe pick an IR out, it doesn't really sound like a metal plugin, so you have to open it up and tweak it a little bit. All these things are just slowing you down from getting this idea out of your head. And for me, it's just not something I wanna deal with. And the sound quality is really good. I mean, you could probably use it on an album, you know, certainly a demo. And I don't think that anyone would know that you're using an amp sim. Okay, so now that we've checked out all these plugins individually, let's compare them side by side. All right guys, what are your favorite guitar amp plugins? Are there any that I missed? Let me know down in the comments below. Special thanks to my patrons for helping support the channel. If you're interested in supporting the channel, there is a link to my Patreon below. And if you want to interact with the community outside of YouTube, there is a link to my Discord server down there as well. All right guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing, 
I'll see you next time. Bye.